you Girl, these guys don't feel the same when I bought them for you A school all up in your hip, a train go home What's up everyone, welcome to Akuma's Arsenal, and today we are reviewing the lovely, lovely, lovely Timex, which I actually have to wind. <laughs> so, I have been, I've had this watch for a while, and it's been taking me forever to get to review it, which is totally okay. I gotta get this guy back to TGV, but... I might have to just procrastinate on it a little bit longer because of how freaking beautiful it is. It's a lovely, lovely piece. In uh, TGV's video, he, they were talking, people were asking, or he had people guess what it is, and people saying, Vintage Jiggle Kutra, da 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 this or that or this or that, other high end stuff. And uh, funny, he got it for under like 50 bucks, so it's kind of interesting. I actually wore this watch with Abe whenever I was. Uh, not with Abe, but I wore this watch and I was talking with Abe and he had a noise to perpetual. I actually talked about this with the live stream or, uh, that happened yesterday. But he, yeah, he was wearing an oyster perpetual and he looked at uh, the time and was like, oh, that's filthy. You know, so it's a quite a respectable watch. And let's take a closer look. So here we go. Here's the vintage Timex. We actually redirect these lights so it's not so damn bright. Here we go, here it is. As you can tell, it's a very, very, very elegant piece with a nice cream dial. Um, just off the bat of the look, it, I can just tell that it's made cheaply. It kind of looks like this, uh, that, that looks kind of like, oh, by the way, dumb, really nice dumb crystal. It kind of looks like it kind of pops out a little bit on the um, middle part. But it, it really does just embody the uh, 60s. And let's take a look. Let's hear that manual wind. You know, it's a pretty decent feeling manual wind. And uh, it's it's fairly accurate also. This, it's it's not made out of uh, steel. This is some type of, uh, is it, is it? It's plastic maybe, or chrome, or something like that. That's a very, very light kind of metal, light, cheap metal. Um, you know, let's take a look at that dial. Timex 12396, very, very easy to read. You know, I, the main attraction for me about this though is just that white cream dial. It's just so beautiful. I'm putting it on a Perlon. It actually came with me on a leather band, but I don't really like wearing it on that. I like, because it's an inexpensive watch, you know. I kind of feel like it's a bit more sporty. It's not really a, a, a I guess it is a dress watch, but I don't know. I kind of feel like back then it was a bit more of a... Not sporty, but more of an everyday man's watch. Maybe a blue collar guy, you know, would have worn something like this. Uh, yeah, maybe. These are manufactured in Scotland, so that's pretty, pretty cool. It's very, very thin, very, very elegant, and uh, the, I, I guess the reason why I was putting it off is just because there's not much to say about this guy. A vintage Timex is just a great place to look if you're trying to find cool pieces for, you know, under $100 that are respectable, that are interesting, that have a good history, and that can uh, can add some a livelihood to your collection. Uh, vintage Timex is just something you guys should all check out and just see what you can even get for really, really inexpensive. Uh, a lot of vintage people, especially if you go to places like Houdinki and all that, it's always like vintage tag chronographs, vintage Rolex, you know, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. But vintage is a, is a huge encompassing thing, and there's just so much variety, so many different unique things that you can take a look at. And this vintage Timex is just one of those little sections of, 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 of the watch market that is just endless. <laughs> Thanks for hearing my little rant about this cutie pewdie little watch. Thanks for watching the video, and Akuma out. But y'all pussy hunting, 12 ducking, rail running New new pack skating and looking Lauren London And check your homie doggy talking to the sleeve you Check your the homie doggy talking to the sleeve too Like, I might find myself